Welcome to J-Hart Model Works. We're getting close to wrapping up the Ravel 41 Chevy pickup. In this episode, we knock out the interior so that we can also finish up our last touches in the engine bay. Welcome to my workbench. Let's get started. All right, guys. So before we get too far in and all this disappears forever, I want to go ahead and take a look at a couple of parts here and where we're at. So here is the horn, which goes inside the engine bay. But I can't put the horn in place. Once again, great placement on an ejector pin marks by Ravel. This is supposed to be, it, it was molded solid. So I went ahead and I drilled it out. I would like to have made that a little thinner, but I think I got real close to boring through the sides. So I stopped where I was. It's supposed to be semi-gloss black, like pretty much everything on this kit's supposed to be semi-gloss black. I went ahead and went chrome, and then on the back end I went with some super gold, which over the chrome looks really kind of cool. But I can't place that until I get these heater hoses glued in place and out of the way, because it's supposed to go... There's a small little spot right there that it goes in. Now once the cab is in place and the firewall is in place, these will get pulled over this way and that will open that spot up. But I can't get the heater hoses out of the way until the firewall is in place and I can't get the firewall in place until the cab's in place and I can't get the cab in place until the interior is done. So I went ahead and moved on to the interior. We've got our, the bottom half of our seat is done, which has you sitting right on top of the gas tank. And I went ahead and I did the wood for the shifter and the brake handle and did a brass fitting on the brake handle. We also have our glass in. That went in with no issues at all. And we have our firewall assembly, which also has our dash. There's our heater, our pedals. And again, supposed to be semi-gloss black. I went with wood trim on the steering wheel and some chrome that's that handle for cranking open the windshield because they didn't have air conditioning which i redid in the gravity colors chrome and we have our door panels the handles and the window cranks which I just hit the knobs for all the cranks with a little bit of clear red after I re-crumbed them at the back of our seat now the way this all assembles is you start with the firewall you tuck that in but then you pull it through and that's going to sit on those little notches And it's just going to lean forward up here at the top. Once you have the firewall in place, you then take the side panels and work them up into place so they go up to the bottom of the window.
Then you position the back of the seat. And that's supposed to sit like this. Now I did add a little bit of extra styrene to the back. When the cab sits flat the way it's supposed to, it creates a huge gap. So when this is sitting all the way flat, instead of sitting on that extra piece that I added, the cab tilts back a little bit. When you sit it like this, that sits flush. But when it's not, it sits back and you have a huge gap between the hood and the front of the truck. So just adding that small piece, yes I'm going to have a small tilt, and I just broke my drive shaft. I'm going to have a small gap between the bed and the truck, but I'd rather have a small gap back here than have this huge gaping gap up here where the hood assembly is. So I'm going to go ahead and get all this glued up together. And fix the drive shaft. Alright guys, so here's where we are going to stop for the week. Engine bay is completely done. We got our horn in there. We have our heater hoses run. All of our lines to the firewall have been run. We have our wire loom running up to the front for the headlights. There's a support bar that's supposed to run in a V from here to here. And I'm contemplating not putting it in because one of the air cleaners, the front air cleaner, gets in the way and causes this side to bend out. My other option is to cut this side off and just run the support beam from here to here and leave this side off. I'm not sure if I, how I want to do that. Let me know what you guys think. Should I leave it off or should I go ahead and do it? Have our interior done. Our steering wheel. Our seat set in place good. Everything lines up nicely. Went ahead and got the mirrors on. Got our gas cap in place. Looking good. We're making progress. From this point, we need to do the bed assembly, which basically I need to finish polishing out the bed pieces. There's a lot of sanding and polishing to be done. There's, there was a lot of crap just got because these are large flat pieces. And when I sprayed them, they were laying just flat. A lot of crap got in the 2K clear, so I'm going to have to sand that down and get that all nice and flat and polished back out. So, all the sanding and polishing that I've been putting off needs to get finished up. I need to get the bed assembled. Our wheels are all done and ready to go into place. They're all looking good. There's some remaining chrome pieces that are currently in the gloss black phase, like the uh, grill, the bumpers, the hubcaps that I'm still not sure I'm going to use or not. Uh, there's a windshield wiper. I'm not overly fond of the windshield wiper, but there is a windshield wiper. Headlight housings. So the chrome parts, the last remaining chrome parts have been stripped. They're in the gloss black phase. Probably get chrome on those this weekend. It's coming up weekend. 
then it's just on to final assembly. So hopefully next week we're looking at a finale, guys. So I'm sure Chris will be happy to hear that. He's already had his done for quite a while now, and it looks great. It looks fantastic. Go check out Chris's channel. Chris has got great stuff going on. And I will catch you on the next update. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. Also, feel free to leave comments, feedback, critique, or anything else in the comment section below. I enjoy interacting with all my viewers in the comment section and try to reply to all the comments I receive. If you want to catch future videos, please consider subscribing to my channel and make sure you click the bell notification icon so you can be notified when I upload new videos. As always, thank you for watching, keep modeling, and have a great day.